Hi everyone, I'm Sugar, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Sugar TV. Today, since it's almost Thanksgiving, I want to talk about pumpkin pie. And pumpkin pie is fabulous, I love it, but it can be really boring. So last year on my blog, I came up with a recipe that I call pumpkin crumble cake. And it's a cross between a pumpkin pie and a cake, and it's absolutely delicious. Um, Betty Crocker actually loved it so much, they featured it on their Facebook page, and thousands of people came and tried the recipe and loved it. So let me show you how to make it. I'm going to start with a box of Betty Crocker cake mix, just a yellow cake mix, some pumpkin, sweetened condensed milk, some eggs, brown sugar, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, butter, and some chopped nuts. And that's all you're going to need. Okay, to start this recipe, we're going to start with our cake mix. You're going to use all the cake mix minus one cup. You're going to reserve that cup for later on. So you have your cake mix, melted butter, and one egg. So you see how that starting to come together, it makes like a wet dough. So once you have your dough formed, we're going to put this into a 9 by 13 greased pan. I we'll have that right here. And that's just going to get put right in there. And we're actually going to mix our ingredients with the pumpkin in this same bowl. That just gets patted down into the bottom of the pan. In that same bowl that we mix the batter, we're going to add a can of pumpkin, a can of sweetened condensed milk, brown sugar, eggs, pumpkin pie spice, and cinnamon. And we're going to whisk that all together. So that's going to be our pumpkin pie custard that's going to go on top of the cake base. Now we're going to pour that custard right on top of the base, just like you would a pumpkin pie. So now we're going to set that aside and we're going to use our nuts. That one cup of cake mix that we reserved is going to be for the crumble topping. And we're going to take a couple of teaspoons of butter and a fork and we're going to just incorporate that. So you just want to make a nice crumb topping and that's going to get sprinkled on top of the cake. I'm using pecans, but you could use walnuts or a mixture of nuts, really whatever you like. Now that's going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 40 to 50 minutes. So this is still warm, but you could see the cake layer, the pumpkin layer, and the crumble layer, and we're going to cut into it. So let me cut into this so you can see how beautiful it is. And I'm just going to take out a piece here, and you could see the different layers. And I made some homemade whipped cream that I'm going to dollop on top of there. And to see that video, um, make sure you go to my whipped cream video. But you could see the pumpkin layer and the cake layer, and the nuts. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, it's still warm. It's so delicious. So if you like pumpkin pie, you are gonna go crazy over this. For more recipes like this, be sure to log on to my website at cookingwithsugar.com. If you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and share me with your friends.